As registered nurses, we call on Tri-City administrators to do the right thing. Nurses in the acute care units at Tri-City want the hospital to address the staffing shortage. They say it's a safety concern. I know the uh, Tri-City has been fiscally challenged, and we are aware of that, but we can't let that interfere with safe patient care and safety for our nurses. According to the latest financial audit report, Tri-City's long-term debt was more than $70 million as of June 2023. Doris Turner, a relief charge nurse in the emergency department, says she has seen about a 35 percent decrease in staffing in the ER. They've also decreased the numbers just across the board. So now our nurses don't get breaks. Our techs don't get breaks. Uh, you work 12 and a half hours without getting a break. Um, and that's not safe for patient care. That increases risk of error. The California Nurses Association, the union representing more than 400 Tri-City nurses, says they've attempted to resolve this concern for the past year. They've documented unsafe staffing levels, filed grievances to the administration, and taken a vote of no confidence in the emergency department leadership. Nurses say that shortage is compromising patient care. In the emergency room, Patients can wait anywhere between 8 to 24 hours for a bed because there are not enough nurses to staff those beds. Ingrid Corona is the CNA's chief nurse representative at Tri-City. She says the hospital tries to resolve that by overextending nurses. We're supposed to have one to four patients, but they will push when the patients have been there a long time and give the nurses five patients. And all, not always with the appropriate ancillary staff, like lift and handling team and nursing assistants to help us provide the care. She says Tri-City nurses are doing their best to provide quality patient care, but the situation is untenable. Unfortunately, you know, we, it's been going on for far too long and nurses are tired and so we don't have break nurses a lot of days. This is not nursing shortage. This is not staff shortage. This is fiscal decisions. Um, we can't allow fiscal decisions to affect patient care. The nurses say they care about their patients, and that's why they're speaking out. Tri-City has yet to respond to multiple requests for comments. Alexander Nguyen, KPPS News.